Hello, beautiful divine one. Hello, hello. I would like to talk for a moment about a really big topic that could be spoken of for most likely hours. Um, but in this space, I would like to allot a few minutes to allow the understanding, the inner knowing of the being of you um, who feel connected with this space to expand this space of understanding. And, and the space of understanding is the quantum, the quantum being you as an eternal being of quantum wholeness. What does that mean? And uh, so my understandings that I share here are through the understandings of you being eternal, first and foremost. That is where we must start. <laughs> you are eternal. So you have this now life experience that you are having as this space of your being, this soul experience. And at the same time, you had an experience prior to this, most likely, and you will have an experience after this. And these terms prior and after are not quantum terms, but they are terms we use in the human language to help us understand these spaces. Why do I say that? Because with quantum understanding, it is the knowing that um, you are all of these spaces of you. You are all of these spaces of you. We use the words prior and after and now to help us kind of allow the mind to know what space of the quantum being we are discussing. Because in quantum understandings, you are all of them and all nows. Um, one does not truly end, if you will, without the other beginning. And at the same time, it is your focus of your consciousness, your awareness, your observation that allows you to expand the space in which the focus is on, the connection of you, the space of you. So let's look at it like this. You are eternal. If we have that understanding checked off the list, then that is the first step. You are eternal. You are a being of consciousness. You are a being of light. You are a space of the source space that all light comes from, all consciousness comes from. And your space of the whole, the one, the origination point, if you will, your space of that is another way in which the origination point, God, is ever expanding, is all-knowing, is omnipresent, because it is within all of the spaces of itself. And you are one of those spaces. And everything is energy. Everything is energy. You are energy and the energy that you are experiencing, as in what you feel and sense emotionally through your thoughts and perceptions as you have your experiences in this now that you are in, they all hold an energy uh, signature, an energy vibration. You know this because you can tell the difference between the vibration of happiness and the vibration of sorrow. They're very different vibrations. And so your vibration, your energy signature is being aligned continually, moment by moment, second by second, by your inner vibration. So the inner, the spaces of you based on how you perceive and feel towards the outer is how the outer solidifies and aligns. So if the inner being is sensing and feeling, and it doesn't mean we don't want to feel slower emotional spaces. We need to acknowledge them when they come up because they're bringing us a message, but it is the understanding that we don't grab a hold of them, attach everything to them and stay in them. That's the difference. You are 
benefiting from acknowledging your emotions. You are benefiting from acknowledging them because they're showing you a space that needs to be seen for a specific reason of understanding of wisdom in your being. So when you feel saddened by something or sorrowed by something or angered by something or betrayed by something, it is a message to you to look at the something and say, is this a lack of self-worth on my part, self-love on my part, in which I am aligning this type of behavior to be in my experience? Or is this a signpost to me to heal a space of my perception of the experience? Because maybe you're perceiving the experience in a way in which it is not actually in that space that happens a lot because we look at experiences wearing old lenses we look at experiences from ways in which we've had them in the past and so if we've been hurt in the past then we wear these i've been hurt glasses and so then everything we see we come at it with that preconceived perceptional viewpoint of i'm going to be hurt and all that does is align and solidify experiences that match that. Hurt, 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 hurt. It's how the system works. It's how the system plays out. And it is set up that way divinely, beautifully, um, to allow us to wake up to our understanding of our ability to navigate the system, to understand our energy, to grow into our wholeness and know ourselves. And knowing yourself in an understanding of your wholeness means your quantum being, knowing that your energy, knowing that you are eternal, and knowing that you have a vibration signature, an energy signature of your being, and that signature is what is aligning and solidifying the experiences you are having. And the feelings and the perceptions that may feel uneasy or uncomfortable or traumatic are, are signals to you, from you, to change course. to change course, to heal, to observe, to be aware, to expand, to love, to move into the next space of you. And many of you know this and have experienced this deeply. I receive a lot of emails and feedback and I am always honored by all that I receive and the work that we are all doing moving into these higher spaces of our beings, understanding ourselves as consciousness, having this experience, it is incredibly empowering. And it is what humanity is, is going through. That is why you see everything you see on this planet right now, because humanity is moving into the next space of itself. And it cannot do that without seeing all of the spaces of itself that were moving at slower spaces of energy, if you will, denser understandings of itself, fear-based understandings, um, very self-based understandings, um, coming from fear. And there's no judgment on that. There's no judgment intended at all. It is how the being expands. It is how the system is set up. But you are quantum, you are eternal, you are light, and you are remembering your wholeness. You are remembering these spaces of yourself by waking up in these other spaces and saying, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't align. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't, this doesn't feel this doesn't seem to be a space in which I resonate with. So allowing yourself to think about what it means to be quantum, allowing yourself to imagine you, your quantum being. I love to do this. I've been doing this for years. I go into my inner knowing and my imagination and I see my now space, Andrea A.L. Garris. And I see all that she does and is and so forth. And then I see spaces of her tomorrow and spaces of her next week 
and spaces of her a year ago and spaces of her 10 years from now. And I see all of these spaces of her as her, as me. And then I go beyond that and I see the life before this life and the life after this life. And I see the space of God, if you will, source, infinite one, um, great spirit, um, origination point. I see the space of that and I see the alignment of where I come from out of that space. And I see all of the spaces incrementally between that origination space, God and me in this now. And I see all of the energy vibrations of those spaces and how they are so much, so much different than one another, yet so connected to one another. And I allow myself to understand myself as all of that space. I am loved by every space of that quantum being, quantum being, quantum being. You are a quantum being. When you are moving into the space of deep remembrance and inner knowing of your quantum being. Unending blessings upon you, Divine One. Unending. <laughs>